Welcome. This is a 30 minute Hatha yoga flow and stretch for overall health. As always, feel free to have some props nearby in case you'd like to modify. We'll begin seated on the knees and we'll tuck the toes leaning forward, sending the hips towards the heels, reaching the hands forward. So really extending through the spine, maybe gently rock side to side if that feels good. Now taking note here, if anything doesn't feel right today, feel free to take something that does feel best. You should never feel pain, just a gentle stretch. You should feel good in your practice. And we'll gently release, untuck the toes, shake them out a bit, and we'll come to whatever comfortable seat works for you today, and we'll just begin to circle the wrist. So just making a fist here, feeling out all the clicks and ticks. When you're ready, we'll come back to center, sitting tall, placing the left hand just beside you. You can sit tall here, stay right here if this is enough, or begin to draw the right ear towards the right shoulder. Staying here, or go ahead and find some movement, rocking the head forward and back. Gently release, shake it out, and we'll switch sides. Staying upright, or go ahead and draw the left ear towards the left shoulder. Option to find some movement. We'll gently release, circle the neck, just feeling out all the clicks and ticks. And then we'll come to a tabletop pose, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale to drop the belly, take your gaze up. Exhale, rounding through the spine, take your gaze down. Continuing to sink breath with movement or go ahead and find some organic movement. So just doing whatever the body needs today. And we'll come back to center, tucking the toes, sending the hips up for down dog. Feel free to keep a generous bend here, pressing the mat away from your hands and feet. On an inhale, rounding through the spine, shoulders over wrists for plank. We'll exhale, go ahead and send the hips back down dog. Take a moment here, be strong, engaging the body. As you inhale, stepping to the top of the mat, half lift coming up as high as you need. Exhale, fold, option to bend the knees here, let the head be heavy. Inhale, come to standing hands, reach up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, fold. Option to bend the knees. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Step back, plank. Full inhale. As you exhale, lower the knees. Take another breath here, and as you exhale, go ahead and untuck the toes lower halfway. Inhale, gentle back bend, cobra or up dog. 
exhale down dog pressing the mat away from you engaging the core let the head be heavy shoulders away from the ears Inhale, stepping to the top of the mat, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale to standing hands, reach up. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it back, plank. Option to lower the knees here. Take your vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale for up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Taking a few breath cycles here. Checking in with the body. As you inhale, stepping to the top of the mat, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing, hands reach up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, stepping the right foot back. Take your time here, embrace the wiggles and shakes. Inhale, reaching the hands up overhead, high lunge. Exhale, hands to heart center. Softening the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen through the spine. Tucking the tailbone, engaging the core. On your next inhale, opening up towards the right side of the mat. Opening the arms, warrior two. Right toes pointed towards the right side, left toes pointed towards the front of the mat. Go ahead and straighten the left knee. Inhale as you reach the left hand forward. As you exhale, go ahead and plant that hand to the mat, the shin, a block, or your left thigh. Right hand reaches up, inhale. Option here to take a bind. Again, embracing the wiggles and shakes here. That's what's gonna make us nice and strong. Get us connected to the body, to the root of the body, the feet. Opening the chest wherever you are. Doing your best to maybe try and take your gaze up. As you exhale, sit nice and low into your warrior two. Inhale, transitioning to high lunge. Hands reach up overhead. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it back, plank. Take your vinyasa. And we'll meet in down dog. Take your time. On an inhale, we'll step to the top of the mat, coming right into a half lift flat back. Exhale, take your fold. Inhale, come to standing, hands reach up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, the hands reach up. Exhale, take your fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, stepping the left foot back this time. Take your time as you inhale, high lunge, hands reach up overhead. Exhale, take them to heart center. Taking a moment to tune into your balance, keeping a calm mind. No reacting, just observing. As you inhale, opening up towards the left, left toes pointed towards the left side, opening the arms, shoulders stacked over hips, warrior two. Tucking that tailbone, engaging the core. 
straightening the right leg inhale reaching that right hand all the way forward reach 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 exhale plant the hand to the mat a block or your shin or thigh left hand reaches up inhale as you exhale feel free to take a bind opening the chest drawing the breath into the chest engaging the core On your next exhale, go ahead and sink low into your warrior two. Inhale, transitioning to high lunge. Hands reach up. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it back, plank. Chaturanga. Inhale for up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, stepping to the top of the mat, coming right into your half lift flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing hands, reach up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Go ahead and take a wide step facing the left side of the mat, pointing the toes towards each corner. So left toes towards the left, right toes towards the right so that the feet are at an angle tucking the tailbone engage the core here stand tall inhale reaching the hands up overhead exhale bending the knees hands to heart center goddess pose we'll do that a few more times inhale reach straighten the legs exhale sit nice and low tucking that tailbone keeping the shoulders over the hips as you reach up and straighten the legs, press the mat away from you. Be strong. Inhale, reach. Inhale. Exhale, take the hands to heart center. And this time, just pointing the toes towards the side of the mat so that the feet are no longer at an angle. Standing tall here, and as you exhale, hinging out the hips, leading with the chest, take your fold, wide leg, forward fold. Hands to the mat or a block. Pressing that tailbone back, chest forward. Maybe even taking your gaze forward. Pressing the mat away from you. Go ahead and place the right hand just underneath the heart. Inhale, left hand reaches up for a gentle twist. Option to take a bind here. Doing your best to keep the hips exactly where they are so the hips don't move. If you can't come into the full twist yet, no worries. Stay where you feel most comfortable. In time, it will happen. Exhale, gently release, switch hands. So left hand to the mat just underneath the heart. Right hand reaches up, option to take a bind. Keeping the hips exactly where they are. Avoiding any leaning into one side. And we'll gently release both hands to the mat once again. Option to take a deeper fold if that feels best for you. I'm gonna stay right here for today. And we'll go ahead and place our hands at our hips using your core here. Coming all the way up, lifting the torso. Take your time. Perfect, we'll go ahead and step to the top of the mat. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, take your fold. On your next inhale, sit the hips nice and low. Hands reach up, chair pose, tucking the tailbone. Engage the core. 
using your strength here lowering the hips all the way down towards the mat reaching the hands forward as you make your way all the way down to your seat heels in line with the knees boat pose lifting through the sternum option here to grab the backs of the thighs and wherever you are drawing that sternum towards the thighs lengthening through the spine As you exhale, go ahead and slowly lower all the way down to the mat, engaging the core, hands reach up overhead. Get a really big stretch here. Perfect, we'll go ahead and plant the feet on the mat, hands resting beside your hips or heels rather, palms face down. Heels as close to the sit bones as you can comfortably get them. Begin to engage the core as we prepare for bridge. Inhale, tucking that tailbone, lifting the hips as high as you comfortably can here, creating that space between the chest and chin. Exhale, lower all the way down. Don't worry if you can't go too high up, completely normal. Just do what you can today. And we'll just move with the breath, engaging the core, drawing the breath into the chest, navel towards the spine. And on your next inhale, feel free to hold it one more breath cycle. Challenge yourself here, pressing into the feet. As you exhale, come all the way down, hugging the knees in towards the chest. Big squeeze. Option to gently rock side to side, maybe observing how the lower back is feeling. Observing the connection between the sacrum and the mat. When you're ready, we'll gently release, straightening the right leg, crossing that left knee over towards the right, back stays flat on the mat for a supine twist. Option to place pillows underneath that left knee and underneath the left shoulder for added height and support, less of a twist. Using your inhales to really create that space, exhaling to completely let go here. We'll gently release, switching sides. Again, option to modify. Inhale to create space. Exhaling to let go. Sighing out all and any tension within the upper back, the shoulders, the legs, the feet.
and we'll gently release. Taking the feet mat with distance and just rocking the knees gently side to side, rolling over the glutes, the hips, the lower back. Hugging the knees in towards the chest, big squeeze will grab the outer edges of the feet, bottoms of feet to touch. Option to even come into a happy baby pose if that feels best today. You can even gently rock side to side. And we'll gently release, hug the knees, one last hug here. And then we'll take the feet to the bottom of the mat, hands to your sides, palms facing up, preparing for Shavasana. Taking this one moment of our day, out of our practice, to just be, to observe the body in its fully relaxed and present state. Maybe creating positive intention for the day, the week, the month ahead. Maybe just giving yourself gratitude for showing up to the mat today. Simply just soaking in all the work you just did. Know that this time, this space is here for you any time that you need. We'll rest here a few more moments. We'll gently begin to wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and toes, rocking the head side to side. We 
We'll roll over towards our right, taking a full breath here. And exhale. We'll gently come to a comfortable seat. Inhaling the hands up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Thank you for joining. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on future videos and live streams.